Stop with the heart of coal on the ground. Those were all rising blood my spot. I'm trying to save it, but I lost my blood. Hello, fellow banjo hands. The reason I'm doing this video today is to showcase my newly acquired Midnight Zephyr. You're not the only one that doesn't know what that means. This banjo is a Helix, made by none other than Larry Hill in Arizona. I acquired it on Christmas, um, and for a rim change out. So, Midnight Zephyr means the rim is a black walnut. So, black walnut with a rolled brass cone root. So I've been playing this banjo a lot over the past week or so, and I really, really love the sound that it's producing. It's a joy to play, and sounds quite different from my master tone style gold star, and yeah. The neck is a Ventura, if you can see that on the pig head. Um, Ventura is a Asian company that made banjos, or I don't know if they made banjos or rebranded banjos in the 80s and 70s, I believe. The, uh hardware on the pot is the same, I'm assuming. I do not know whether the resonator is the same because the stain doesn't quite match the neck, but we'll ask that is okay a little bit. Um, the tailpiece is a gold tone straight line tailpiece, which is near halfway down on the bridge, which is a little over. The bridge itself is a chicken picking a.k.a. Tim Purcell Bridge. I believe it is a cutting block maple. Really great bridge. I traded some wood, um, wood pin blocks I had which from exotic wood for his some bridges. So I also, I believe I have his piano wood bridge, which is on my other banjo. And um, maybe birch, the merch birch bridge, I believe. This one is 1.9 grams. String gauges are medium gauge. I believe they are 10, 12, 16, 26, and 10, possibly. So a little larger than I'm used to, but that's, I'm going to have these on until I wear them out, and I'll probably change them to a little lighter. I'm going to play a couple more for y'all so you can get a feel for how this banjo sounds. First one, I think I'll play Doug Spoon. <laughs> that um, the finger picks I'm using are a Showcase 40, uh, 1941 on the index finger, a Dunlop .25 on the middle finger, and the reason I'm using different one picks for each finger is because I currently cannot find my Showcase for my middle finger. So, And Thumb Pick, which is the most unique thing I'm using, is a Saddle Thumb Pick. So if you haven't heard of Saddle, you should look them up. Um, I contacted them to see if I could try out some of their thumb picks, and he said sure. So he sent me along a pack of three, so I fitted this one, and they're a really, really remarkable thumb pick, very innovative. I'm going to put a video, oops, video on the uh, hangout here later this week or next week, depending on my schedule, to kind of showcase this pick, because I really believe this is a, it's got a great niche in the market between the blue chip, holy grail of a thumb pick, with, you know, the Dunlops and the Nashvilles and whatever, so I think it's very comfortable, I think it sounds really good, it's very easy to do and fits well, so you can watch that video later in the week if you like. Um, I'm playing my last song and then I'm going out of here. 